Alright YouTube, this video is for 9595 Redneck. I strongly apologize, I'm sorry I didn't get this video up sooner, but here it is. <coughs> Alright YouTube. Um, like I said, it's for 9595 Redneck. Um, uh, he, he's having problems with his uh, solenoids on two of his uh, two lawn tractors he just picked up they were picked purchased or whatever first thing you want to do check your battery make sure it's charged make sure it puts off um, enough amps to turn it over but make sure it's fully charged um, one way to test that is to hook up another battery that you know is charged and see if you can start it that way if it still doesn't charge or if it still doesn't start off of the other battery then it's not the battery. Um, if it is the battery, um, I've got a, a video link uh, somewhere on this video so you can see how to fix that uh, cheaply. Um, but the next thing off here you want to do is you want to locate wherever your solenoid may be. It can be if it's an MTD. It's going to be under this cover most of the time. I've seen it in other places on MTDs, but um, I'm twisting this. Uh, it can also be under this gas tank here. It can be next to the gas tank, like or next to the battery tray. If the battery tray is here, like it is on that tractor, um, it can be in many different places. But what you want to do is you want to find it. Mine's right here. That's actually a replacement from an old Murray, from an old Murray tractor. I know it's still it, that one still worked. I know because it, I'm still using it on this. See, the solenoid on this actually went a while back, and the noise it makes when the solenoid is gone is it sounds kind of like the battery's dead. You go like this, and you turn the key over, and this isn't. I sit down so I don't crack my seat. My seat's cold, so it'll crack. Um, there we go. Um, all it does is when you turn this over, all you hear is a click. Not that click. That's the starter. But all you hear is a click. It just goes clink. And you let go and it goes clunk. And then it, you hit it again. Sorry, my foot's in the way. You, every time you turn the key over, it goes clink clunk, clink clunk, clink clunk, clink clunk, you know. It makes two different noises either way. And that's, you know, most of the time that's because your solenoid is gone. Now another way to test, so if it's making, if all it's doing is making that uh, clinking noise when you turn the key over take a screwdriver there's two terminals on there you want to put the screwdriver in between the two and twist see as you can see there it turns over with just the screwdriver just turns over with that screwdriver so if it turns over with the screwdriver in between the two terminals and it makes the clinking noise when you turn the key it is definitely your solenoid. You can get solenoids off of eBay you can get them from auto parts stores um, you can get them from lawnmower repair stores um, just try to get one that's pretty heavy duty you know um, you can even put one from a truck like an older truck onto uh, onto your lawnmower <laughs> on this tractor I've actually got a, a four-wheeler solenoid this one's from another uh, lawn tractor, this one here, which barely fits under this, under here. Um, this ori the original one was mounted differently, but this, it's still a solenoid. Um, so if none of the, if um, you turn this over and it does make, make the clinking noise, if you don't turn the key and it doesn't make the clink noise, but it also, when you put the, the screwdriver in between there, it turns over then what you want to do is you want to find on your on the solenoid itself there will be one wire it's right there it's there will be one wire going to probably a post or um, yeah it'll be like a plug on the side here here or here or here or on the other side like this one is mine's over here and it's this red wire you want to trace this wire back as best as you possibly can all the way up <laughs> all the way up until up into here which my
like I was saying before my camera died I had this in my old camera you can tell the video difference anyways <coughs> sorry I'm a little sick anyways uh, you want to uh, um, follow that wire all the way back up into the back of your um, switch here and then you want to disconnect the switch do it carefully though because sometimes these are very worn out and you can break them apart blow everything out check inside check inside there make sure it's clean clean it out with a little bit of sandpaper do the same with those um, and so on and so forth and then put it back on fit it on there nice and tight and then after you fit this back in um, ouch. like that you want to try it out, try it again as you can see it turns over um, but let's pretend like yours didn't pretend yours is still um, not turning over with the key so the next thing you want to do is take a wire a jumper um, anything really connect it to your positive positive line on your battery so connect it to this find that pole on the solenoid and connect the positive to that pole on the solenoid it's on the other side of this now if that turns it over if that works then it's either the line all the way back that you just traced which you should have been checking for um, the, the line being broken or cut anywhere um, but if it's if it's not cut or anything all the way up until this keyhole this key switch then it's the key you need to order a new one there I've seen them run from 30 50 bucks 60 bucks and 15 bucks for the just the ones that like auto auto shops or uh, like AutoZone like those really cheap um, ones that hey they work fine as long as you can match it all up into the the switch but that's pretty much it <coughs> that's how you um, you check out what the heck's going on with your solenoid and then let's just say none of this works at all that clicks like it should you know everything works just fine and it still doesn't turn it over now the next thing you want to do is check your your hard wire this big thick one you want to check that goes all the way back to the battery and if that one's fine then check the one that goes from this pole all the way up to your starter ouch I cut, cut my thumb not just now but earlier today but then you want to check it that goes all the way up to your starter if you have a uh, one of those test boxes, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, multi multimeter. There you go. If you have a multimeter and if you can if you know how to use it and um, then test it with that. Um, but that's pretty much it. So if everything check well, I'm gonna take that back. It's not pretty much it. If everything checks out, everything checks out, I mean every single thing, then it could be your starter. Now to test your starter. You take a positive jumper cable, not wire, use a jumper cable, hook it up to your positive line and run it all the way up into your pole on the starter and clip it on that way. And if it starts it, then there's a problem with something along this whole thing. But if it doesn't, then it's your starter. Now, um, also, what can be a problem? can be your negative line also check your negative line you know make sure that's working okay make sure that's um, on there and works fine you know and this seat's cracking oh, shoot because it's cold weather and me sitting on it anyways um, so that's pretty much how to check for all that um, I hope you enjoyed the video I apologize for the lighting but this flashlight does killer job at lighting so it ain't all too bad um, if anybody has any more questions about their solenoid 
Um, just comment. I can answer them. You know? It doesn't hurt. It never hurts to comment. There's no stupid questions. I'll answer them. If I can't answer them. Well, there's no, I don't think there's really anything I wouldn't be able to answer. Because if I don't know it, then I'll look it up for you and find out what the answer is. But I'm, I don't know if I'll ever have to look it up because I know a lot of different things. So, Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize for not getting it up earlier, but it's being uploaded tonight. So, see y'all later. Bye.